right, today our viewer has asked what your thoughts are on creatine and similar su supplements uh, like taurine and carnosine, um, given that they are not found in plants and levels decrease with age. Very important question. And I see this come up frequently, especially in older vegans. I happen to be one of them now. Um, well, what are these substances? Um, they're not all the same. Uh, creatine is different than carnosine, different than carnitine. Um, they're generally uh, components of muscle in general. Certainly creatine is involved in muscle metabolism as is carnosine. Uh, there are amino acids that are found in foods. Um, taurine, uh, there is taurine in plant foods. We can create taurine. It's not an essential amino acid. We can make taurine out of methionine, I believe. Um, and uh, so if you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, you can make your own carnitine, you can make your own creatine, you can make your own carnitine. We're doing it all the time as we sit here. Uh, the question is, is there any benefit in taking large amounts of these uh, to enhance uh, muscle uh, metabolism or, or athletic performance, et cetera. And when one looks in the scientific literature, you see there are studies showing that in trained athletes, uh, strength athletes, endurance athletes, uh, when they take a large amount of creatine, you know, 25 grams, 50 grams of, of creatine, large amounts of it. Yes, they, their lifting performance goes up a little bit. Their endurance performance goes up a little bit. Um, seems to be a lot of pills and a lot of money for a, a little uh, increase in athletic performance. Uh, nothing that I would want to get into. I think you can create your own uh, creatine, say, by eating a healthy whole food plant-based diet, lots of uh, rich protein containing foods, lots of lentils and beans and peas and chickpeas and quinoa, et cetera. And then going to the gym and using those muscles, you know, that's really where the fitness and the strength is really gonna come from. Uh, and so uh, with these kind of supplements, uh, I won't say there's no value to them. Uh, uh, at a baseline in this question, should all vegans be taking extra creatine and carnosine? No, they should be eating healthy and, and working out. Um, I'm going to leave the issue of the endurance athletes and the performance athletes to the, those people specializing in that. Uh, go to the website of Robert Cheek uh, and the vegan athletes, vegan bodybuilders, and they can give you their philosophy and their experience in using these, uh, these supplements. So for the average vegan, I don't think there's great benefit in taking handfuls of creatine tablets or carnitine tablets at this point. That said, there seems to be a subgroup of people who can get some benefit uh, from taking additional carnitine and carnosine. Uh, and um, these are people with medical issues. Uh, the uh, people with congestive heart failure, when they take extra carnitine and fairly hefty doses, uh, their heart beats better uh, and stronger. Uh, if they've got peripheral artery disease and there's atherosclerotic plaques down in their leg arteries, uh, those arteries seem to dilate a bit better and they get more blood flow uh, from extra carnitine. Uh, and uh, people with neuromuscular problems, when they take extra creatine, uh, they can notice a significant benefit from them. So if uh, and there was even, I read a study, someone with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease uh, from smoking, uh, and they're kind of asthmatic and bronchitic. Uh, if they take creatine, uh, they breathe better. So if you've got medical issues, it might be worth checking out. How do you know? Well, it seems that there's no really severe toxicity, even in the large doses of these uh, supplements. So if I had one of these conditions, if I had congestive heart failure, if I had uh, a neuromuscular condition, um, I would probably get a bottle of, of creatine, maybe a bottle of carnitine. Uh, and, I, and for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, uh, I, would, I would take some. And and see how I felt after 60 days, 90 days of taking these. You, you shouldn't be subtle. You should know, oh, I, I can walk better, or my muscles hurt less, or I, I, I'm breathing easier. There, there should be a noticeable difference. If there's not, then you, know, you don't have to keep taking it. But if you significantly notice there's an improvement, 
<clears throat> then uh, uh, you should follow that. Do you have to continue at these high doses? No, there's probably a threshold phenomenon when your tissues get saturated with the carnitine, creatine, whatever. You probably need less of it. That may be a, you know, a third of the dose every other day or whatever. You work to find your own dose. It depends how quickly your body gets rid of these particular supplements. But so I'm not saying they have no use at all. Do all uh, uh, plant-based eaters need to be taking handfuls of tablets? No, uh, they need to be eating healthy and working out. Uh, but if you've got a medical issue, yeah, I think 60 days, 90 days worth of creatine, carnitine, uh, and maybe carnosine uh, might be worth trying. And uh, there, there seems to be no toxicity. Cost you a few bucks, but uh, uh, if they do work for you, yay! I think you have a, a significant uh, step of progress in your in your recovery of your health. So worthwhile checking out and uh, be your own lab experiment. It's a safe thing to do, and so if in that case, I think they may have a, a place to play in in uh, in, in particular people's uh, nutritional program. Okay, that that's great. So it sounds like, you know, unless you're having an issue, it, it's it's okay. You don't need to supplement it, as you said. So no, but um, and again, uh, go to uh, do a uh, search on vegan bodybuilders. Uh, and you'll, uh, uh, you'll, there's a lot of uh, good writing being done. Uh, by vegan dietitians and vegan bodybuilders on athletic performance using these uh, supplements and educate yourself about it. It's, it's too vast a subject to go into much detail here, but it's worthwhile if, if you have an interest, uh, go, uh, go check out uh, 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 veganhealth.com uh, uh, as well as the vegan bodybuilders and, and you'll get uh, some uh, experiential reports of people who've actually tried these and can give you some good advice. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.